I have six profitable trade-offs for you guys, ranging from $1 all the way up to $10. They're all extremely profitable. In fact, the last one has a profitability of nearly 150% after Steam Tax. And we're jumping straight into the first trade-up. For this, you're gonna need seven Minimalware mil specs from the Kilowatt case and three Factory New mil specs, also from the Kilowatt case. If you keep the average float below 0.07, you get a no-risk trade-up with a profitability of 115%. The best outcome is the M4 Etch Lord, where you make 60 cents. You'll make about 25 to 30 cents on the Glock, the 5.7, and the MP7, and you exactly break even in the sawed off. There is absolutely no risk, 0% chance that you will lose money. But let's Let's see if we can hit some etch lords. This video was made possible by Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is an instant trading site, and trading your skins to different ones is as simple as selecting the skins you want to get rid of, selecting the skins you want, and hitting trade. If you don't quite have enough funds, you can top up your balance with a 35% deposit bonus with my code TechSavvy. Additionally, if you're a first time user, you get a free $5 to use in your first trade. They also don't charge any overpay for good floats so if you need trade-up inputs skins monkey is a great place to get them and not only that but they're always running multiple giveaways so even if you don't have any skins to trade there's something here for you to check out skins monkey is the only reason I'm able to do such crazy videos as this one so if you want to support the channel or if you just want to claim your free five dollars go check them out link in the description all right, let's do some profitable trade-ups. I'm excited for this one. This is a very, very low risk trade-up. In fact, it's so low risk that it's no risk. Give me anything except for the sawed off. Okay, that's a profit. All right, next attempt. Getting an M4 Etch Lord would be pretty nice. Ya yeet. Oh, there we go. That's the best profit, 61 cents. And here we go with our last attempt for this trade-up. Give me an Etch Lord. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's two of the best outcomes. Now, this is a pretty good no-risk trade-up, but if you have a hard time finding the factory new skins, you can also substitute it with pretty much any collection. Dreams and Nightmare skins are the cheapest, and this does actually bump up the profitability by about 2%, but instead of being a no-risk trade-up, this is now a 70% profit trade-up, where if you hit, you make between 30 and 90 cents, but if you miss, you lose between 20 and 60. But this is pretty much the same as the first trade-up, so let's move on to the next one, which is once again pretty much the same as the first one, except everything is in stat track. So seven stat track minimal wear mil specs from the kilowatt case, and three stat track factory new mil specs from the kilowatt case. Same average float below 0.07, but this time you make almost three dollars on the M4 Etch Lord. You make over two on the Glock. You make 60 cents on the 5.7. You break even on the Just Smile, and you lose about 17 cents on the analog input. Still pretty much a no risk trade up, but now there is a small risk of losing a teeny bit of money. And now for the exact same trade up except for in stat track, this time if we get the sawed off we actually lose money, so please no sawed off, I only have one attempt for this one, give me the etch lord. Okay, okay, 5-7 is one of the profit outcomes. It's only 66 cents, but I will take it. Trade-up number three is probably my favorite trade-up. We're going for the factory new AK Slate, and for this one, you're gonna need seven minimal wear mil specs from the Snake Bite case, and three factory new mil specs from the Kilowatt case, but once again, you can substitute it with pretty much any collection, but I found that the Kilowatt case is probably the most profitable in this case. Again, keep the average float below 0.07, and you'll make over six and a half dollars on the AK Slate, you also make a little bit on the Trigger Discipline and the Etch Lord. You break even on most of the other kilowatt case outcomes, and you lose about $1 on the MAC-10, the P250, and the Negev. This trade-up is honestly my favorite trade-up ever, the AK-47 Slate trade-up in Factory New. With these 7-3 splits, you have a 14% chance at making $6.5 of profit. I have three attempts. Let's see at least one AK Slate. Okay, the MP7 is a break-even. That is a fail outcome, but you still only lose 5 cents, which I'll just call a break-even. Give me the AK Slate 14%. Show it to me. Oh, Death Texture. That is literally the worst outcome. Come on, man. This trade-up is supposed to be profitable, although this is definitely the riskiest one in today's video. Show me the slate. 
Okay, okay, the Glock is also break even. We did not make any money on these, unfortunately. Let's move on to the next one. As you may already be able to guess, trade up number four is the same thing as trade up number three, except it's stat track. So seven stat track minimal wear sneak bite mil specs, three stat track factory new kilowatt mil specs, average float below 0.07, and you make over $30 on the AK slate, couple of bucks on the Deagle, the M4, and the Glock, and the rest lose you between $1 and $4.5. This is a very risky profitable trade up, but the upside is massive with the AK slate, and the profitability of this guy is 136%. Once again, we have the exact same trade up except in stat track. If we hit the AK slate, we make over $30 of profit. Come on, Gaben, 14% three attempt we didn't get the non stat track please show me a stat track AK slate ah oh, five seven this time it's a bigger loss of about a dollar and 16 cents come on gaben you can do it AK slate oh the dev texture oh that's minus four dollars oh no are we gonna lose money overall we need to hit this last one come on man show me the slate please no oh my god that's so bad that's the worst outcome again oh my goodness these profitable trade-ups are not going too well right now. Now our fifth trade-up is going to be a $1 trade-up, the cheapest one in this video, and it's going to be the simplest one. You simply need 10 minimal wear revolution case mil specs with an average float of below 0.0875. This trade-up has a profitability of 127%, which is pretty solid for a $1 trade-up. You over double your money on the M4 M4 Asaurus, you make 50 cents on the Glock, 20 cents on the Neo Queen, you break even on the Sakaku, and you lose about 50 cents on the revolver this is definitely the simplest trade-up of this video but it's also pretty profitable and it's also very cheap it's only a dollar and we over double our money on the m4 source show it show it to me p90 is 20 cents a profit here we go attempt number two m4 source all right, the Glock's the second best outcome. I'll take that, 48 cents a profit. Ah, well, our luck does not seem to be on par today. Well, let's move on to the last one, which is the Statrack version. So 10 Statrack minimal wear skins from the Revolution case, average float below 0.0875, and this is the trade-up that has a profitability of 144%. You make over five and a half dollars on the M4 M4 Saurus, you make a dollar 60 on the Umbral Rabbit, you make around 20 to 30 on the P90 and the Mac 10, and you lose a dollar and 50 cents on the revolver and once again we have the stat track version of the same trade-up that i just did this one's even better in fact it's the most profitable trade-up on today's list it's almost 150 percent profitable after steam tax show me the m4 i want to make over five dollars today mac 10 is eh, a little bit of profit more like break even <laughs> the luck is not on our side today apparently but we do have one more attempt. If we hit that M4 Saurus, that'll be nice profit for this trade up in three, two, one, M4 Saurus. All right, all right, the Glock is over a dollar and a half a profit. I'll take that, I'll take that. Well, unfortunately, we didn't hit any of the insane profit outcomes, but I just hope that you will. So let me know in the comments down below if you're going to attempt these and go get the inputs quickly before these trade-ups become unprofitable. And if you want to see every single detail of how I do these trade-ups, then check out this video next where I break it down into six easy steps that you can follow.